Mmm, VTEC. Absolutely beautiful. Dudla, 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 dudla. We have a problem. Saveloys, welcome back to another Honda CRX episode. I'm actually listening to the previous owner's CD. Fair play, he's got a few banging numbers. Today we're going to be fitting new seats and a new steering wheel to the CRX. First up, going to go get some shell fuel because the fuel is looking on the low side. Going to chuck the keys to John. Send it. Okay, here we are at the Shell petrol station. I do like to run the old V power. This is where your fuel cap is. That's your boot release and that's your bonnet release. Which you guys so let's, let's, that. let's see what we can get in the beast. A few moments later. There we go, 47 quid. And there was a little tiny bit in there. So probably about 50 quid you can fit in one of these tanks. Cheeky little coffee for the old donkey. Nom nom. Mmm, VTEC. <laughs> mentioned in the previous video this car isn't massively quick horsepower wise but because you can feel every bit of horsepower it, it does feel like a real savage little machine <laughs> Who needs indicators? <laughs> Especially 
in the Irish. <laughs> as you guys can see, Scouse is working on Mr. Peden's S15. Looking pretty savage for a street legal drift car. Another S15 on the ramp, which he's doing a full under seal on. Unfortunately, when he started to remove the subframe and all the ancillaries, they did find quite a bit of rust. So they're gonna be doing a few rust repairs first and then kind of cleaning it all up and then under sealing it afterwards. But that gives you an idea of what Scouse is currently up to. One CRX, still looking absolutely beautiful. Let me know what you think of j -Lo in the comment section out of 10. You've got a rate of one to 10. One for, you don't like her. 10, you think she is absolutely bangable. Don't forget as well, like I mentioned, my algorithm is pretty crappy on YouTube for whatever reason. If you want to give me a few likes or put any comments down below, any interaction would really, really be appreciated. Like I mentioned earlier in the video, we're going to be removing this code steering wheel this afternoon and we're going to be taking out these, uh, whatever they are, Clyde seats. Da -da 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 -da. By magic, here we have my brand new seats. I'm also going to chuck Monzi's Instagram on the screen as well. If you want to give him a cheeky little follow, he's got an absolutely amazing CRX. Now, I had a look on eBay and DC2 seats in really bad condition with holes in the bolsters and all sorts of tears are going for like six or 700 quid. I managed to pick these up for a thousand pounds from Monzi, did be an absolutely cracking deal. And needless to say, the seats are absolutely beautiful. They were actually removed from a 14,000 mile DC2. Just to give you an idea on how ridiculously clean they are. And he also gave me these very nice original Integra Type R seat covers as well, which I will be using just to keep the seats nice and clean. Bolsters are absolutely mint condition. All the stitching is perfect. Other bolsters also beautiful. The seat cushions are lovely. Tiny, tiny little bit of wear there. Considering these are sort of 20 year old seats, they're in absolutely beautiful condition. They look fucking brand new, don't they? Don't they just, man. Before we show you the other seats, Scousey's just got the adapters out there, actually adapters for the CRX runners, made by a guy on a Honda forum, I think Mons was telling me, so they're very, very rare pieces. These will pretty much enable us to fit these seats into there without any hassle. This is the other seat, definitely 20 out of 10 confirmed. Scouse and I just noticed as well, these we think normally come in plastic, but they've actually been flocked. Flocked, yeah. If we've got any Honda nuts in the audience, let us know, is that standard or has that been flocked? And if that wasn't enough, my favorite ginger is gonna model my new steering wheel, very beautiful, 20 out of 10 confirmed. <laughs> so that is a DC2 non-SRS, a non-airbag original Integra Type R steering wheel. In my opinion, much better than the uh, deep dish number we got going on in here. Before we start though, quintessential cup of tea. Cheers me old China. Righty tighty, we're gonna start removing said Clydes or whatever they're called, Clydes, Chides, Nides. I've got a 12 mil socket here. So without further ado, let's hit it Pedro. Those front two bolts have now been removed. I've slid in the seat forwards just to get enough access on the two rear 12 more bolts just down here. First Clyde has been removed. These are a little bit heavier as well than the uh, DC2 seats, so we'll get a nice little bit of weight saving uh, once we fit these bad boys. Just gonna get the hoover out. That's the carpet all cleaned, looking lovely and mint for when we put the, uh, put the new seat in. Next up, I'm gonna start removing the old rails so we can basically fix the new adapters to them. That's one of the runners removed. Just gonna do exactly the same thing on the other side. Alas, the heavens have opened, so we're gonna just put the car inside so we don't get all the stuff wet. You are there, little boy. You are not to die. <laughs> no, man. As you lovelies can see, the other seat is now being removed. They're both over there. I'm just gonna go around with the Hoover again and clean up that side, then we're gonna start uh, putting the adapters onto the old rails and then chuck them onto the DC2 seats. Scouts are just going to quickly show you how the adapters work on the original runners. These to the seats first. Yeah. These little button head clanky bolts are going to sink into there. So I'll bolt the seat first and then once that's bolted in, these are threaded here. So then that will line up with that. Bolt out one, slide it across, bolt out one and then it can go in the car like normal. Adapters are now in place. We're pretty sure they go this way around. A little bit of trial and error when you doing new stuff like this. I'm gonna start taking off the code steering wheel. Five minutes later. Ta-da! One code steering wheel now removed. New steering wheel is now in place. Just gonna Jesus tighten up the, uh, the hub nut. <laughs> Look at my fingers. Ah! 
Alas, we have a problem. Wait, there's always a problem with cars. Every car, there's always a problem. <laughs> Nothing is a quick, simple job. No, nah, man. But you guys are going to have to wait until the next episode to see what's happened because me and Scouse are going to get pissed. Obviously, two metres apart. About this part. Six metres. <laughs> <laughs> True story. Um, right, hopefully you guys enjoyed this cheeky little episode. We'll be back in the next one to show you what on earth has happened. And yeah, hope you enjoyed it. Sick. <laughs> <laughs>